Imagine a game that you used to sell the booster boxes for $500 a box. $500 a box. And I'm pretty sure people bought tons and tons of boxes at that price point. Now, are these the same exact boxes? No, but they are boxes that Rudy Chan really, really loves and is still promoting today. It's in fact many of these bo the two boxes that I'm going to show you right now. I think it could also be in his uh, Shroud Time, Meta Zhu Shroud Time, which is a, the new Crown Eater promo set. So imagine uh, a scenario where, you know, this is just god awful. And the reason it is so bad really comes down to the fact that he probably should have known better. This guy is a finance guy, supposedly. He is a, you know, he's a guy who knows the numbers and what's going to go up in price. And he told you this was an investment. You're looking at boxes at $30, first edition Seance. Seance being a very interesting set that is the furthest removed from Hello Kitty you could possibly go. Sentonic, a lot of disturbing images, if you will. And that's not my word for it. Those are Meta Zoo fans uh, who are disturbed by the Seance imaging and they believe it's not family safe. Then we have another product, the Meta Zoo Hobby Box Series Zero. Uh, this Topps Chrome box is what Rudy said was going to the moon. It has not gone to the moon. It actually has gone to basically zero. And yeah, you're looking at this box at $30. This was supposed, and again, they have 36 of them. So it's not like, oh, wow, it's one or two of, right? That they had a special sale or something. Um, this is really bad. Like, there's MetaZoo boxes, and at some point in time, let's just talk about MetaZoo. At $20 a box, you know, I mean, I am just astounded, right? I mean, $20 a box is nothing compared to, you know, Magic Zoo, Magic the Gathering boxes and stuff? They start at uh, a huge number, right? They start at $100 and then go from there. This is quite fascinating. I mean, it's um, definitely a interesting thing. And I uh, want to say that uh, in terms of how much money that you can inv you can't really invest all that much into this when the boxes are $20 a box, right? People laughed when I had a buy list at 10 or 15, but these are $20 from a store. And the store needs to, t it still has to pay fees. The store would be happy to get $15 back from it. So if I contact the store and say, hey, I want to buy all your MetaZoo boxes, give me a figure, I think they would go with $15. Um, the question is, do I want to do that? And the answer probably is no. I mean, I don't think anyone right now should be taking a large position, minus, you know, you, Timmy's, right? In fact, let me email these dudes. Let me email these dudes. Uh, okay, email address, news, box breaks, results. Okay, where is their email address? Layton Games Gaming, where is their email address? Uh, it looks like they really, really want to get rid of MetaZoo. And I don't blame them because without Rudy Chan, if Rudy Chan leaves MetaZoo, what is MetaZoo? Right? Like, no, I, I'm being completely serious. Like, what is MetaZoo if Rudy Chan leaves? Seance, I have not seen Seance on sale. The two sets I saw on sale previously for $30, now the UFO is $20, was Wilderness. I think Wilderness is like $30, right? Um, I don't know. I mean, it is kind of weird to see the prices this low. Like, wouldn't it be weird for you? Like, you bought these at $500 a booster box, and now you're seeing other booster boxes of the same series at only $20, $30. And the Topps Chrome, I'm... It's kind of a blessing in disguise. I mean, how cheap can the game get? Like, honestly, like, how cheap can the game get? I, I don't know, man. I, I mean, and every time it drops another $5, Rudy Chan looks uh, worse and worse, right? Um, I mean, the cheap cards are just so cheap. I, it's unbelievably cheap. I can't... $20 from a retailer for a booster box... And the Chrome product, remember the Chrome product was, oh man, this Topps Chrome product, go to the moon, baby. 
I mean, you watch the Argos, you watch all these people, and they think the Topps Chromes is like the second coming of like bread or something, right? Sliced bread. And but then at the same time, these guys are crazy, right? Um, and I actually got a comment, and they all look the same. They have salt and pepper hair, right? They're kind of odor gentlemen, if you will. Uh, their hair is becoming gray and a little white, so they have that like salt and pepper look, right? That George Clooney has, and um. I mean, how much lower can these guys go? I, I don't know, man. They, they, they've gone pretty low. The boxes have gone really low. Who's going to buy these boxes still? And, you know, who's buying this stuff? Like, I, I don't... Uh, at $20 a box, that's nothing for a booster pack, right? How many booster... I, I, I don't even know how many booster packs are in a uh, booster packs in a MetaZoo box. And even $20 may not be a good price, to be quite honest with you. Like, $20 is low, but I've seen lower. And it can get even lower, right? On TCG players, like $29.99 now. And there are... How many booster packs? It doesn't even tell you. Like, I can't even see the box. It doesn't say on the box how many packs are in it. All right. I mean, that's probably not a good sign, in my personal opinion. But whatever. Uh, how many booster packs in a MetaZoo box? I probably just have to find out. Oh, here we go. How much, how many booster packs? 36 packs in a box. Okay, I thought it was like 24 or something. Like weird. But 36 for $20. Jeez, you're approaching 50 cents. I mean, at some point in time, it's just going to be like 10 cents a pack, right? Or 20 cents a pack, 30 cents a pack. I mean, Jesus. Like, it's it's bad, guys. And... So do not invest in MetaZoo, because I even at twenty dollars a box, I that's twenty dollars from a retailer who probably has hundreds of them. This is big yikes, guys! Big yikes.